was a discovery of a mass of skeletons buried in the region. It's possible that Stonehenge could have been used as a healing site. There are plenty of places on our planet. If you clap in front of an Egyptian pyramid, nothing happens. So here. Even after thorough examination and investigation that remain unexplainable. Kings being buried in the Valley of the Kings, but it's also the start of something new, of continued royal burial that really ends with Cleopatra. Join us as we look at the top greatest mysteries of humanity. In hopes of tracking down Thomas J. Beale's treasure, but their investigation has just turned up one of the most famous uncracked codes of all time. 20. Stonehenge. Stonehenge is an ancient megalithic edifice located on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England, approximately two miles west of Amesbury. It is made of an outer ring of vertical sarsen standing stones, each about 13 feet tall, 7 feet wide, and weighing around 25 tons, topped by connecting horizontal lintel stones. Inside is a ring of tiny blue stones. Inside, there are freestanding trilithons, two larger vertical sarsens connected by a lintel. The entire edifice, now in ruins, is aligned with the summer solstice sunrise and winter solstice sunset. The stones are located within earthworks in the heart of England's most densely packed Neolithic and Bronze Age monument complex, which includes hundreds of burial mounds. Archaeologists believe Stonehenge was built in stages from roughly 3100 BC to 1600 BC, with a circle of massive sarsen stones added between 2600 BC and 2400 BC. The monument's earliest phase, the encircling circular earth bank and ditch, dates to approximately 3100 BC. Radiocarbon dating reveals that the blue stones were placed in their current positions between 2400 and 2200 BC, while they could have been there as early as 3000 BC. 19. Area 51. A dusty, unmarked road leads to the front gate of Area 51 in the center of the desolate Nevada desert. It is only surrounded by a chain-link fence, a boom gate, and ominous trespassing signs. One would assume that America's much-mythologized top-secret military base would be better guarded, but make no mistake, it is. They are keeping an eye on you. Any angle is visible from beyond the fence, which is guarded by cameras. A white pickup truck with a tinted windshield sits atop a distant hilltop, peering down on everything below. According to locals, the base is aware of every desert tortoise and jackrabbit that crosses the barrier. Others say the approaching road contains embedded sensors. Decades of wild speculation have surrounded what happens within Area 51. There are alien conspiracies that say extraterrestrial aliens are hidden inside. One of the more outlandish theories claims that the notorious 1947 Roswell crash was caused by a Soviet plane piloted by mutant midgets, and that the debris is still on Area 51's grounds. Some also claim that one of the base's hangars was used to film the 1969 moon landing. Despite all the myths and legends, Area 51 is real and still highly active. There may not be aliens or a moon landing movie set within those fences, but something is happening, and only a select few are aware of what is going on. Area 51's forbidden nature is what draws people in to see what is there. That is probably human nature. In our thumbnail, we can see two men looking down at four giant skeletons on the ground. They look exactly like human skeletons, but they are quite tall. Could they be aliens? Why don't you tell us what you think in the comments below? 18. Beale Ciphers The Beale Ciphers are a set of three cipher texts, one of which allegedly reveals the location of a buried treasure of gold, silver, and jewels worth more than $43 million as of January 2018. The first text describes the location, the second text accounts for the treasure's content, and the third text lists the names of the treasure's owners and their next of kin. Several attempts have been made since the pamphlet's publication to decode the two remaining cipher texts and locate the treasure, but all have failed. 17. Bermuda Triangle The legend of the Bermuda Triangle began with the unexplained disappearance of a group of military planes carrying 14 men off the coast of South Florida in December 1945. We are entering white water, nothing seems right, the flight leader supposedly said before they lost radio contact. 13 more servicemen sent to search for the missing flyers also vanished. They have linked other mysterious disappearances and encounters to the area of ocean that is a triangle anchored by Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. Two British South American Airways passenger planes disappeared in the area a year apart in 1948 
and 1949. No explanations or wreckage were ever found. Victims credited to the area in many books and documentaries have included a large oil tanker, a pleasure yacht, and a small passenger plane. Books, including The Devil's Triangle, Limbo of the Lost, and The Riddle of the Bermuda Triangle suggest supernatural explanations. Aliens in spaceships, wormholes, and the mythical lost continent of Atlantis have been blamed, but no concrete evidence has ever been brought to light. 16. Cleopatra Cleopatra is remembered as both a strong female monarch and an intriguing seductress who purportedly sneaked herself to Julius Caesar by wrapping herself in a rug. However, the Cleopatra of pop culture has little to no relation to Egypt's real queen. In fact, today's audience may not even recognize her. Cleopatra was a Ptolemy, and as was customary for that dynasty, her parents were brother and sister. In fact, monarchs had to marry their sisters to gain power. Cleopatra married her 10-year-old brother at the age of 18 and later married the other. Inbreeding was evident in her genetic line, with obesity most likely being one of the results. Cleopatra was born in Egypt, but she traced her genealogy back to Macedonian Greece and Ptolemy, the first Soter, one of Alexander the Great's generals. Ptolemy ruled Egypt after Alexander died in 323 BC, establishing a dynasty of Greek-speaking kings that lasted over three centuries. Despite not being ethnically Egyptian, Cleopatra adopted many of her country's traditional rituals and was the first member of the Ptolemaic family to learn Egyptian. Members of the Ptolemaic dynasty, like many other royal houses, frequently married within their own family to maintain the purity of their bloodline. Over a dozen of Cleopatra's ancestors married cousins or siblings, and her own parents were most likely brother and sister. In accordance with this custom, Cleopatra eventually married both of her adolescent brothers, who each functioned as her ceremonial spouse and corrigent at various points during her reign. Power grabs and assassination plots were as common in Ptolemaic society as family marriage, and Cleopatra and her brothers and sisters were no exception. Her first sibling husband, Ptolemy XIII, drove her out of Egypt after she attempted to seize sole control of the throne, and the two eventually clashed in a civil war. Cleopatra recovered the upper hand by teaming up with Julius Caesar, while Ptolemy drowned on the Nile River after being defeated in combat. Following the war, Cleopatra wedded her younger brother Ptolemy XIV, although she is thought to have murdered him to make her son co-ruler. In 41 BC, she also ordered the killing of her sister, Arsinoe, whom she saw as a rival to the throne. Archaeologists discovered that many Egyptian royals were overweight, owing in part to a diet high in alcohol and bread. However, incest could have played a role. Cleopatra had a hooked nose, a round face with fat hanging below her chin. Roman propaganda certainly depicted her as the indomitable beauty that we know today, but she was not the Elizabeth Taylor who played her in the 1963 film. 15. Sodder Children Disappearance On Christmas Eve, December 24, 1945, a fire destroyed the Sodder Mansion in Fayetteville, West Virginia, in the USA. At the time, George Sodder, his wife Jenny, and nine of their ten children lived there. During the fire, George, Jenny, and four of the nine children escaped. The bodies of the remaining five youngsters were never located. The surviving Sodders thought for the rest of their lives that the five missing children had survived. The Sodders never rebuilt the house, instead turning the site into a memorial garden for the lost children. In the 1950s, when the family began to doubt that the children had died, they posted a billboard along State Route 16 with photos of the five youngsters, offering a prize for information that would bring the case to an end. It stood until shortly after Jenny Sodder's death in 1989. State and federal investigations into the case in the early 1950s generated no fresh information. The family did, however, receive what could have been a photograph of one of the boys as an adult in the 1960s. In the 21st century, the final surviving daughter and their grandkids continued to raise awareness about the issue in the media and online. 14. Jack the Ripper The slayings never faded from public consciousness, however. Legions of Ripperologists have developed their own theories over the decades, and the lineup of suspects has included the father of Winston Churchill, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, author Lewis Carroll, and Prince Albert Victor, grandson of Queen Victoria and second in line to the British throne. Some have even speculated that Jack the Ripper was Jill the Ripper, and female suspects include Mary Piercy, executed in 1890 after butchering her lover's wife and child with a carving knife similarly to the notorious serial killer. 
Killer. Now, after over three years of scientific analysis, experts say Jack the Ripper's identity has been found interwoven in the ragged, 126-year-old shawl, and they finger Polish immigrant Aaron Kosminski as the serial killer. Using a level of analysis that was only possible in the last decade, they identified the dark splotches on the shawl as stains consistent with arterial blood spatter caused by slashing. They also discovered evidence of split body parts, consistent with kidney removal and seminal fluid. They found the mitochondrial DNA taken from the shawl matched that taken from Karen Miller, a direct descendant of Edo's, and a female descendant of Kosminski's sister, Matilda, who provided swabs of mitochondrial DNA from the inside of her mouth. Police who worked the case at the time of the murders would not have been surprised to see Kosminski's name linked to the crime. At the time of the murders, Kosminski was among the handful of primary suspects. 13. Shugborough Inscription the Shugborough inscription is a sequence of letters carved on the 18th century Shepherd's Monument in the grounds of Shugborough Hall in Staffordshire, England. Beneath a mirror image of Nicholas Poussin's painting, The Shepherds of Arcadia, reads O-U-O-S-V-A-V-V. -V. It has never been fully explained and has been dubbed one of the world's most difficult uncracked ciphertexts. The pseudo-historical The Holy Blood and the Holy Grail, published in 1982, claimed that Poussin was a member of the Priory of Sion and that his Shepherds of Arcadia held hidden meanings of profound esoteric significance. Several viable answers have been offered by researchers in recent decades, and despite the numerous possibilities, Shugborough Hall officials remain dubious of all proposed solutions. According to a property spokeswoman, they have five or six people per week who feel they have cracked the code, so they are leery of them now. 12. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Malaysia Airlines Airplane 370 was an international passenger airplane operated by Malaysia Airlines that disappeared from radar on March 8, 2014, while flying from Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia to Beijing Capital International Airport in China. The cause of its disappearance remains unknown. The crew last interacted with air traffic control around 38 minutes after departure, when the plane was flying over the South China Sea. The aircraft disappeared from ATC's secondary surveillance radar screens minutes later, but the Malaysian military's primary radar system monitored it for another hour, veering westward from its original flight path and crossing the Malay Peninsula and Andaman Sea. It departed radar range 230 miles northwest of Penang Island in northern peninsular Malaysia. The disappearance of Flight 370 with all 227 passengers and 12 crew aboard presumed dead, was the deadliest incident involving a Boeing 777 and the deadliest in Malaysia Airlines history until it was surpassed in both respects by Malaysia Airlines Flight 17, which was shot down over Ukraine four months later on July 17, 2014. The combined loss posed substantial financial challenges for Malaysia Airlines, which was renationalized by the Malaysian government in August 2014. 11. Amelia Earhart. Amelia Mary Earhart disappeared on July 2, 1937, and was ruled deceased on January 5, 1939. She was an American aviation pioneer, writer, and the first female pilot to fly alone across the Atlantic Ocean. She achieved numerous records and was among the first aviators to promote commercial air travel. She wrote best-selling books on her flying adventures and was influential in the formation of the 99s, a group of female pilots. In 1937, Earhart and navigator Fred Noonan went missing over the Central Pacific Ocean near Howland Island while attempting to be the first woman to accomplish a tour of the globe. The two were last seen in Leh, New Guinea on July 2, 1937, during their final land break before Howland Island and one of the flight's final legs. It is widely assumed that she and Noonan died somewhere in the Pacific during their circumnavigation, barely three weeks before her 40th birthday. Day. Nearly a year and six months after she and Noonan vanished, Earhart was declared dead. More than 80 years later, investigations and public interest in their disappearance continue. 10. Ark of the Covenant The Ark of the Covenant, also known as the Ark of the Testimony or the Ark of God, is considered the Israelites' most treasured religious artifact. It is characterized as a wooden box covered in pure gold and topped with an intricate golden lid known as the Compassion Seat. According to the Hebrew Bible's Book of Exodus and First Book of Kings, the Ark contained the tablets of the law, which God used to give Moses the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. According to the New Testament's epistle to the Hebrews, the books of Exodus and Numbers, it also included Aaron's rod and a container of manna. 9. Dismissal of Maya Civilization In archaeology, the classic Maya collapse refers to the decline of the classic Maya civilization and the abandonment of Maya towns in Mesoamerica's southern Maya lowlands between the 7th and 9th centuries. 
the pre-classic Maya of Sibal witnessed a similar collapse in the second century. Although referred to as a collapse, it did not result in the end of the Maya civilization, but rather a transition away from the southern lowlands as a power center. The northern Yucatan prospered after that, albeit in quite distinct artistic and architectural forms, and with far less use of colossal hieroglyphic lettering. Following the end of the classic period, Chichen Itza established an empire that briefly united the Maya region. Centers like Mayapan and Uxmal thrived, as did the highland nations of the Quiches and Cachiquel Maya. Independent Maya culture lasted until 1697, when the Spanish invaded Nojpaten, the last independent city-state. Millions of Maya people still live on the Yucatan Peninsula today. 8. Reincarnation of Pollock Sisters The Pollock family lived in Hexham, England. Florence and John Pollock, along with their two daughters Joanna and Jacqueline, who died at the ages of 11 and 6, respectively. In May 1957, a horrible day occurred. A careless vehicle struck the two girls and their nine-year-old buddy Anthony as they walked to church. The two sisters were killed nearly instantaneously, while Anthony died on his way to the hospital. The mother who struck the children was high on a variety of drugs and subsequently revealed that she intentionally hit the children after being forced to give up her own children. She ended up in a psychiatric hospital. Of course, Florence and John were saddened by the loss of their darling children. Florence did become pregnant a year after their deaths, though. John became totally sure that their daughters would be reborn as twins and that they would be reunited with their younger daughters. But Joanna was not buying it and refused to believe what her husband was saying. They were devout Catholics who had previously disagreed over the doctrine of reincarnation, to the point where their marriage was threatened. Furthermore, neither of their families had a history of twins, and her doctor warned her that her chances of conceiving twins were slim. But in October 1958, Joanna gave birth to twin girls. Their names were Jennifer and Jillian. For numerous years, Florence disputed that the twins were reborn spirits of her two lost daughters, despite strong evidence that they were. Florence altered her mind after the twins started talking about the vehicle accident. She overheard the twins performing a game in which they acted out the event and pointed to areas of the body that were injured and bleeding. It will never be known whether the twins were reincarnated versions of their sisters. Personally, I believe everything is possible. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 7. Yanaguni Monument For decades, people thought the most impressive natural sight you could see near the Japanese island of Yanaguni were the frenzy hammerhead sharks that circled the shores during the cold winter months. That all changed in 1987, when a local scuba diving instructor discovered something underwater that was far more interesting than sharks. It was a gigantic cliff face cut into a series of immense geometric terraces with broad, flat, horizontal surfaces and sheer vertical stone risers. It might have served as a grandstand for the retinue of whoever the Japanese equivalent of Poseidon may be, a place where gods convene to watch titanic underwater spectaculars. The Yonagani Formation is mostly composed of sandstone and mudstone, while various structures connect to the rock beneath them. The most prominent part of the Yonaguni Monument is a giant slab of rock that is nearly 500 feet long, 130 feet wide, and 90 feet tall. The distance from the surface of the water to the top of the monument is around 16 feet. What makes many people, including some scientists, believe that the monument is more than just a giant piece of rock underwater is the variety of details that point to human influence. Experts argue the whole structure might be evidence for the lost Pacific continent of Mu, but despite its mysterious and slightly controversial history, divers around the world still believe that it's way more interesting to see than sharks. 6. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty is a massive, neoclassical sculpture on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, New York City, in the USA. The Copper Monument, a gift from the French people, was conceived by sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi, while Gustave Eiffel built the metal framework. The statue was erected on October 28, 1886. The statue was conceived in 1865, when French historian and abolitionist Edouard de Laboulaye proposed a monument to honor the forthcoming centennial of American independence, the survival of American democracy, and the freeing of the country's slaves. The Franco-Prussian War stalled development until 1875, when Laboulay offered that the French people fund the statue while the United States provided the location and built the pedestal. Bartholdi finished the statue's head and torch-bearing arm before it was entirely conceived, and these sections were displayed for publicity at international exhibitions. 5. Atlantis 
Atlantis, a likely mythical island nation mentioned in Plato's dialogues, Timaeus, and Critias, and has been an object of fascination among Western philosophers and historians for nearly 2,400 years. Plato describes it as a powerful and advanced kingdom that sank in a night and a day into the ocean around 9,600 BC. The ancient Greeks were divided whether Plato's story was to be taken as history or mere metaphor. Since the 19th century, there has been renewed interest in linking Plato's Atlantis to historical locations, most commonly the Greek island of Santorini, which was destroyed by a volcanic eruption around 1600 BC. In 1627, the English philosopher and scientist Francis Bacon published a utopian novel titled The New Atlantis, depicting, like Plato before him, a politically and scientifically advanced society on a previously unknown oceanic island. In 1882, former U.S. Congressman Ignatius L. Donnelly published Atlantis, the Antediluvian World, which touched off a frenzy of works attempting to locate and learn from a historical Atlantis. Donnelly hypothesized an advanced civilization whose immigrants had populated much of ancient Europe, Africa, and the Americas, and whose heroes had inspired Greek, Hindu, and Scandinavian mythology. Donnelly's theories were popularized and elaborated by turn-of-the-20th-century theosophists and are often incorporated into contemporary New Age beliefs. From time to time, archaeologists and historians locate evidence, a swampy, prehistoric city in coastal Spain, a suspicious undersea rock formation in the Bahamas that might be a source of the Atlantis story. Of these, the site with the widest acceptance is the Greek island of Santorini, a half-submerged caldera created by the massive 2nd millennium BC volcanic eruption whose tsunami may have hastened the collapse of the Minoan civilization on Crete. 4. Antikythera Mechanism 115 years ago, an archaeologist was sifting through objects found in the wreck of a 2,000-year-old vessel off the Greek island Antikythera. Among the wreck's treasures, beautiful vases and pots, jewelry, a bronze statue of an ancient philosopher, was the most peculiar thing. A series of brass gears and dials mounted in a case the size of a mantle clock. Archaeologists dubbed the instrument the Antikythera mechanism. The genius and mystery of this piece of ancient Greek technology, arguably the world's first computer, was a marvel to behold. At first glance, the piece of brass found near the wreck looks like something you might find in a junkyard or hanging on the wall of a maritime-themed dive bar. What remains of the mechanism is a set of rusted brass gears sandwiched into a rotting wooden box. But if you investigate the machine, you see evidence of at least two dozen gears laid neatly on top of one another, calibrated with the precision of a master-crafted Swiss watch. This was a level of technology that archaeologists would usually date to the 16th century. It was immediately apparent that the mechanism was some sort of clock, calendar, or calculating device, but they did not understand what it was for. After a careful study of the gears, experts deduced that the mechanism was used to predict the position of the planets and stars in the sky depending on the calendar month. How the ancient Greeks accomplished this feat is unknown to this day. 3. Taos Hum Many famous people have lived in Taos, New Mexico, including Julia Roberts, Dennis Hopper, D.H. Lawrence, Aldous Huxley, and Donald Rumsfeld. It's a small, laid-back, artsy community with an unusual mystery, a resident hum of unknown origin dubbed Taos Hum. A variety of explanations have been proposed, ranging from the mundane to the fantastic, psychological to paranormal. Blamed have been stoned hippies, secret government mind control experiments, underground UFO bases, and everything in between. However, the research revealed that there was not a single identifiable Taos hum, but rather several different ones that people reported. Some describe it as a whir, hum, or buzz. The fact that not everyone heard the same thing was perplexing, implying that they were reporting subjective experiences rather than objective sounds. 2. D.B. Cooper 50 years ago, a guy known only as Dan Cooper, aka D.B. Cooper, carried off one of the most spectacular heists in recorded history. On November 24, 1971, over the course of a few hours, he hijacked a plane, stole $200,000, and then escaped via parachute never to be seen again. It all happened on Northwest Orient Flight 305 from Portland to Seattle, a Boeing 727. It was intended to be a brief, easy trip, and D.B. Cooper appeared to be an ordinary business traveler at first. However, it quickly became evident that this was not the case. Investigators are still baffled as to who D.B. Cooper was, how he carried out the theft, and how he escaped. 1. Petra, Jordan This Nabataean caravan city, located between the Red Sea and the Dead Sea, has been inhabited since prehistoric times and served as an important crossroads between Arabia, Egypt, and Syria. Petra is half-built and half-carved into the rock, surrounded by mountains crisscrossed with passages and gorges. It is one of the most well-known archaeological sites in the world, 
where ancient Eastern traditions coexist with Hellenistic architecture. The drone footage of the site is stunning. During the Nabataean, Roman, and Byzantine periods, an ingenious water management system allowed for extensive settlement in an essentially arid area. It is one of the richest and largest archaeological sites in the world, set in a commanding red sandstone landscape. If it wasn't for explorers and archaeologists, many of these incredible discoveries would still be hidden from us. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.